back to another episode of Last Day on Earth, Season 13, the brand spanking new update. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're heading back to the port because the sewer location has respawned. And also, quick reminder, we are running a giveaway. Winner is going to be announced in the next video. All you got to do to enter is make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a like on the video, and leave a comment down below. Don't know what to leave? Well, in that case, let me know what you're thinking about Season 13 and how it's going for y'all. Because in case you guys didn't hear, the Android update is officially out now as well. So everybody can enjoy Season 13. 13. So let's start popping our way over there and hopefully everyone out there is having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out. Whether that be for the video, break you a smile, break you a giggle, anything or everything like that does not matter to me. How little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that indeedly do. That's exactly what the joy do do. And y'all might be like, Star, but it is not updated. This is a lie. It actually has updated, but I just made sure to actually set an alarm and I woke up as soon as it did update so I could go ahead and just pop in there and just make sure to get that timer uh, going again because that will maximize or I should say minimize the amount of time that we need until we will have all the resources necessary to build the motorboat. So even though there's that timer there we haven't actually looted up the sewer location. That's exactly what we're about to go ahead and do and <laughs> The first time around, we got some really good stuff down in there. This time around, we are bringing the saw blade mace for any potential sneak attacks. I'm a squeaky clean. We also have the gas mask because surprisingly enough, there's a lot of situations where the gas mask would kind of sort of come in handy. So let's plop our way down into there and get the fun going. And speaking of fun, make sure y'all head over to twitch.tv slash starslife if you have not yet because we might actually be live by the time you're watching the 6 p.m. Eastern time today, Christmas Day. Merry freaking Christmas, by the way, to all who celebrate and to everyone else has. Happy holidays, my dear friends, and hello! It's the freaking Merman, but where's Barnacle Boy? You fraud! Yeah, Merman would never do that to me. He would never poison me like that, you freaking douche canoe. So I, I just gotta deal with some poisoning here. Don't mind me, but let's see if we can't actually take down just one Swamp Bloater at a time. And then, no, I did not mean to do the barrel roll. I meant to go and activate the sneak attack skill so you could go and get all that uh, shit nicky dicky like and take down this comrade over here. But yes, indeed, twitch.tv slash stars. I've in the description and in the pinned comment. Make sure that y'all head on over there and... Yeet, big damage uh, to the blow. Oh, I should have brought Lexi along for today's adventure. We also are collecting various amounts of holly, which will definitely be coming in handy as well. So we can then use that for the strange factory and jazz like that. Then hello, side doorway. How do you do? And uh, we got uh, Swamp Zombie over here and the Carrion, who we are using that wall to ensure that he cannot actually get a hit off on us. And now we can get a little bit of loot. And every single box in the sewer is gas, baby. Let's go. And we're getting the terrain maps, which help us increase our reputation, which will then help us actually gain some more crane keys y'all remember the crane keys that got us that sunken box yeah those things are also gonna be incredible and we're gonna be able to earn those uh via getting shenanigans done down here in the depths of the sewer but also we'll be able to get it done uh, via getting some more cargo deliveries done every single day and uh, that is definitely something that we're gonna be knocking out as well hello wakey wakey okay we just got some normal zombies coming our way this time not too bad let's saw the crawler in half and give this fella a little bit of pistol drizzle but yeah link in the description make sure i'll head over there twitch.tv slash starslip where you'll be able to see our live stream we are doing a giveaway and ladies and gentlemen this is gonna be an awesome giveaway to celebrate the brand new season this is something that we do every time there is a new season every one of the winners there's gonna be five winners total is gonna be getting the season premium pass plus a 10 level boost on top of that each of those five winners are gonna be getting six of the santa's packs five rare blueprint packs and one thousand coins <gasps> star goodness gracious yeah it's a freaking a bonanza i tell you so looking forward to seeing some of y'all over there there's gonna be those five winners chosen throughout the duration of the stream and y'all are gonna be getting those files with rare blueprints which is a great way of getting some of those uh whatchamacall weapon modifications and speaking of new things i believe we have six santa's packs to go ahead and pop on open ourselves to celebrate the fact that today we're gonna be giving that away at twitch.tv slash star snipe well, why don't we go and open up a six of these for ourselves? And as you all can see, you're guaranteed some incredible things because uh, we're, since we're going to be opening up six of these, we're going to get one of each item in these top six tiles. And we have a chance of getting 25 coins, 20 first aid kits, and best of all, 10 C4, dude. I could definitely go for 10 C4, but that AT transmission is also a big thing. So without further ado, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Give me, okay, we got a little bonus. I'll take a little bit of coinage. Hard to go wrong with that but hopefully we can get some other bonuses coming our way okay some bonuses besides the coins i don't mind the coins but i would like stuff other than the coins okay and we just continue getting coins but y'all can see there's some really good stuff like a guaranteed atv transmission tactical backpack a freaking modified scar modified vss the katana is probably the most disappointing
disappointing thing. And a brand spanking new backpack. We'll go ahead and equip a little bit later on today. So let's continue popping these things open. And please, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. We are freaking making it rain coins, but I want to make it rain high explosives. Is that possible, y'all? Listen, I need your help. Smash that like button if you have not yet. It will give me some power that I need to hopefully get some stuff out of this sack. Oh, yeah. And speaking of that like button, don't forget to go ahead and leave a comment down below. And make sure you're subscribed. That will enter you in onto the giveaway. We're doing a little bit of a Christmas giveaway. The winner will be announced tomorrow. Y'all can also enter in on the last video that was posted. There will be a comment randomly chosen from the last two videos. Make sure that you guys leave a like. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. Y'all can leave a comment on both of the videos. Winner will be chosen in the next video. So stick around. 25 iTunes and or Play Store gift card uh, coming to the way of that winner. But all right, lads and lassies, come on, baby. Come on, dude. All right, I get it. We're getting a lot of cash money, but that's not what I want. Literally every time, man. Are you serious? Like, bruh. I, I wanted the high explosives, but apparently the high explosives did not want me. That's all right. Let's go and get our way past this. Uh, let's deactivate that gas over there and blow e gorgeous baby the swamp bloat is here to get sawed in half and yeet one more hit thank you for the holly appreciate that that will like i said come very in handy we do have a side room over here i'm not gonna lie this is where shock and rain might come perfectly in handy because i already know for a fact uh hold up that there's gonna be a lot of zombies inside of this room hello shotgun rain big hits baby i love to see it and we'll go ahead and bring that swamp bloater down before he gets the chance to do his freaking sumo wrestling moves i get it you've been working on some new moves but guess what i don't care about your gosh darn sumo wrestling moves and wow there are no boxes for us inside of these rooms that's a little bit disappointing but all righty onwards we go because this ladder is open. Oh, speak of the devil and hello. So is this vent. Let's go on and get a little bit of pistol drizzle popping on these crawlers, but it's time for us to make our way up into here. Now, here's the dangerous thing. After you climb up this ladder, y'all do not want to exit the area that we're going to enter until you absolutely clear it out because it will, th that ladder, it will collapse and it will no longer be accessible, which also makes dying in these little like side ladder locations a very risky game. You can literally perish and never be able to get your stuff back. It's freaking heartbreaking, but you will go to be careful lads that is a distinct possibility that can occur and hello 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 wakey wakey they appear to be protecting something over there Let's just try and like kite this fellow over here one at a time Yay! saw him in half before he gets the chance to do anything too bad to us and go and sneak up on these fellers over here marvelous hello fast rot are you my friend will be dying and all right this comrade over there didn't notice us let's just kind of go and uh, skedaddle away so we can get this thing regenerated and saw that lad half in the no, english is hard saw that lad in half as well now at the end of every one of these like little mini ladder dungeons there tends to be a very good chest so i'm looking forward to seeing what we can't pull out of that that's usually let's go we got some glass along the way we got some more reputation that's what you love to see the things we need for the boat and the things that we need to get our reputation up which will then also subsequently help us get the boat i hear a lot of zombies you know what that means ladies and gentlemen boys and girls may I introduce you to shotgun rain no a frenzy giant i was not expecting that oh i mistimed that a little bit Okay, we gotta be careful, man. That frenzy giant. Y'all know the frenzy giant. He is a tough cookie. Uh, we gotta go and... All right, all right. Let's make sure that we are plenty healed. We'll uh, do that. Oh, uh, let's kite him around a little bit. And okie dokie. Let's go and spread a little bit of shotgun rain. Some stay dry. The frenzy giant feels the pain. Shotgun rain. Is this the one that starts sprinting? No, it's not like the hard mode frenzy giant. So that's good. Dude, that's a new ability. Frenzy giants did not used to do that. That is terrifying. They can freaking yell like that and stun you if they do hit you with it. You got to be careful but dude i love the challenges new locations percent let's go oh we even got ourselves the empty box i'll happily take that grab some of those i already hear a ton of people up in here hello shotgun rain goodbye to the alzia and there's not really a reason for us to open that room nothing inside of there but there could have been so you know can you got to play the odds you got to continue that exploration but yeah looking forward to seeing it all over there at today's stream every time the friday after the new update does come out we always do a giveaway stream like this with five winners being chosen getting the premium pass getting a thousand coins getting some other goodies from the store as well those will be chosen throughout the stream twitch.tv slash star starting at 6 p.m eastern time if y'all don't know what time that is you can also go to that link in the description and the pinned comment twitch.tv slash star slash schedule that will actually tell you guys what time that does start in your local time which is very handy and we're live every single friday at that time too but this friday is a little bit special because a it's christmas and b what can i say baby we're having a jolly good time with uh some of this newness and the giveaway as well and of course future fit giveaways are going on too but okie dokie let's go and bring down some of them fast rollers over here and it should not be too big of a challenge we should be able to mop up the rest of this floor pretty easily i think that frenzy giant would 
have been like the most difficult thing to date. Hello. Boop. Oh, we only hit one person with that shotgun rain blast. That's a little bit disappointing. All right, let's go and bring them fellers down. They are inflicting a good little amount of damage to us, man. Uh, that they are, that they are. All right, and we got to go and open up this side room. Let's wait for our shotgun to regenerate. These these rooms tend to have a ton of zombies fly out of them. So I do like to have our shotgun kind of like regenerated, ready to go. Um, I don't hear a lot of zombies on the other side of this room, but that door is also stuck, so we can't even get into there. But I definitely hear zombies in here. Hello, shotgun rain! And gorgeous, we went ahead and took down everyone who was deemed a threat. And this exploder will be doing his boom boom. This is not an exploder that we can kill before he blows up, as we did just see. I tried killing him before he did the boom boom does not the matter at all we do have a zombie over there looks to be a bit bigger on the radar so that might be a frenzy giant so we might want to be prepared and uh, let's let's go in let's go on uh, 1v1 this fellow or is this gonna be potentially a uh no that's not the farty boy sometimes he does appear as well let's go and get this thing out to play and hit you with the uh, gadoosh Gorgeous sayonara and oh and it appears that we have come full circle This is kind of like the end of the dungeon So probably that little side room over there to our left right over here We're gonna have some enemies, but we're also gonna have probably that end of the ladder little room chest So looking forward to that that is where a lot of the best stuff can be acquired from let's see what we got up in here Let's go. We got more reputation. We got more glass and we got more rubber you bloody love to see it as bloody gorgeous and all right let's prepare let's get that shotgun rain out to play we got the pistol drizzle to slow down anyone who might be running up on us significantly fast hello all right just a floater bloater not too bad why don't we actually go and get uh this thing out to play so we could hate him with a good little bit of damage over there and he'll hit us with a sumo wrestle but that's all right i want to let him show off his moves for a little bit we'll continue collecting that rope just to i don't know i just i, I don't know i just don't feel like freaking leaving anything on this floor because i don't want to i, I want to make sure that we don't miss anything you know so i don't want any x's on the ground really but i probably left some x's but long story short i'm just randomly picking stuff up um let's get the pistol out shotgun rain ready to go shotgun rain oh i just shotgun rain a wall well that's disappointing all right well we'll go and take down these fast rodders who are pretty hard hitting enemies and uh, it appears that that frenzy giant with the yelling ability was kind of like the boss of this floor and hello it's me and I got the military box with us. Uh, mediocre goodies. Dang, dude, that's a bummer. I mean, don't get me wrong. The wrench is nice. The air filter is nice. The acid's nice. We need that to cleanse the sunken boxes. But that's not what I was looking for, lads. That is not what we wanted out here. So kind of a bummer of a ladder dungeon for that kind of end of floor loot. But I'm sure that there's going to be some better stuff uh, coming our way. Now we got to get across this freaking, like, acidic floor, which is going to be a little bit nasty, you know? So that's not going to be fun. But you know what is going to be fun? Yeah, okay. And there we go. Like I say, it collapses. So you don't want to leave until you definitely loot it up. And you definitely don't want to die up there because that is no Boy, well, speaking of things that you definitely want to do, especially if you are heading over to that stream, you want to make sure they have a Twitch account, and you want to make sure to go ahead and click on this button in the Last Day on Earth game to connect your Twitch account to your Last Day on Earth account, and then every 30 minutes of watching the stream, every 30 minutes, you have a chance of getting some free stuff sent directly to your inbox, including things that otherwise cost money, like, for example, the Special Forces Pack is one such thing that can be sent to you. You can get old chopper skins, you can even get uh, base decorations like the mannequin. It's an awesome way of getting some free stuff literally just by watching the stream, and you can even multitask and be grinding in Last Day on Earth and watching the stream to get a little bit of a, a double whammy going. And yes, there is a way to get rid of this goop, but unfortunately, we don't really want to do it because it's very expensive. It, it, it takes up one of these pumps, it takes up cement, and like, all we really got to do is just utilize, I mean, uh, I mean, it's, I mean, we just got to use an extra med kit to get past that. It's not the worst thing in the world. Like, it could be worse, you know? But all right, get over here, Kroll. It's time for you to meet your doom. And it's time for me to meet this chest after I meet whoever crawls out of there. At least I'm not seeing no freaking mermaid man and is uh, who unfortunately is missing his other half of barnacle boy but at least i'm not seeing that fella anymore it is cool to see him i do love the variety that this new location does bring but i gotta say merman's a bit of a tough cookie let's go baby i love to see that glass we're gonna get a good amount of glass through this little run over here we got shotgun rain ready to go shotgun rain gorgeous there was only two enemies this time around our shotgun is actually taking a lot of damage by the way which is a bit of a bummer hmm but it is what it is bruv it is what it is and there's nothing in here for us to loot up. But you gotta loot all these rooms, man. You gotta make sure that you are not leaving anything behind. We are shotgun. Getting a little bit low on the durability side of things. Go be cautious of that. All right, and onwards we go through this next little area. It's a lot shorter this time around. We got these feathers crawling out, but it's just gonna be some crawlers. Not too bad. 
And not too bad. I do see on the radar, actually, a little bit of uh, something peeking out of that corner. Oh, there's my man. How you doing, buddy? Oh, uh, don't hit me. Okay. Oh, we killed him right before he got hit off on us. Let's go. Uh, Y'all can see on the radar, there's a little bit of a corner peeking out from this room. So I think there's going to be a chest inside of that room once we can get to it. Let's make sure that we got some weaponry ready to go. Because uh, by the sounds of it, I'm not hearing any zombies on the other side of this door. So it appears to be pretty chill. Oh, that was that was a ladder that I saw. Okay, never mind, never mind. And yeah, that, that's something as well that you all might notice is that this ladder last time around was unblocked and we could go up it. This time it's not. So the ladders you can go up in the rooms they lead to are actually randomized on every run that you do go, making it a little bit interesting. It kind of keeps you on your toes because it ultimately ends up sending you in some different dungeons. And wow, the one time I don't bring out the shotgun rain, you're telling me it's the perfect room for some shotgun rain shenanigans. You hate to see it, bruv. Yeah, bro, you hate to see it. All right, then let's go across this not toxic water. You love to see it. We are gonna have a room up in here this time. I will heed my warnings. Let's have some shotgun rain ready to go. There is quite a few of them. Yeet! There is, ah, a survivor. That's right, though we got some loot over here into the corner. But yeah, looking forward to seeing you all over there at that stream, but definitely make sure to hit us with that follow on Twitch as well. Let's go. I love how much rubber you can get down here too. Rubber's otherwise kind of an annoying thing to get. Either you gotta get it from the junkyard event, which requires a very high level chopper, level 40 to be exact, or it requires you to freaking. I mean, uh, you can also get it from Bunker Bravo or process it with the uh, pressing machine, which is a pretty expensive thing in and of itself. It's a craft. Where are you at, dear pressing machine of mine? There you go. It's not really that cheap to craft. This lets you turn 20 rubber parts into one rubber. So, like, yeah, it's, it's otherwise pretty expensive. So, I actually love to see how common it has become in the sewers because you also need, like, 200 of the darn things uh, to get your ATV built. So, it's kind of very helpful in that regard, too. Only two enemies. We'll go ahead and take them out the old-fashioned way with a little bit of pistol drizzle. I've not had too many snick attack, uh, snick a dicky opportunities, unfortunately, to use that saw blade mace uh, to its most efficient. But, ooh, I think I see an unearthed ladder there on the left side of the screen. Let's go. And we got some more goodies. We got some more reputation. Mwah! Magnifique call like a freaking fancy pizza i don't i'm i'm thinking of pizza i'm hungry and all right oh crikey mate here you go here you go gorgeous 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 we got a fella over here it's the swamp bloat oh let's take him down before they decide to appear Yeet! there you go and we'll go and take down these crawlers with a little bit of saw blade mace action and both times we got the critical so otherwise this thing's only normally does like 60 damage and all right uh we are almost done with the lap y'all can see there is the end there's gonna be a nice room over there with some stuff that's where we can actually get the third and final military box we already opened up one military box on our little ladder excursion but it's time for us to get the second military box which chronologically in order comes via this ladder and again we cannot die up here we got to be careful bro we got to be careful and luckily careful's my middle name no it's not it's not yolo is probably a little bit more accurate hello Alrighty, just a doorway ready to go that's suspicious dude i feel like there's gonna be a lot of bad things on the other side of this hello there is shuck and rain gorgeous that was plenty of hits a few of the fellers uh didn't really get hit too hard by it but hey we did something we continue racking up the holy and what is this this is a cool little side room. Oh, do you see that? Oh, there's an alarm. I don't I don't like that. Not enough energy. What do you mean not enough energy? Oh, do I need to turn on a generator in this floor? You what, mate? Dude, what is this all about? I don't know, but I'm kind of excited to see. Hello, my friends. Shotgun rain! And goodbye to a lot of you. These fast routers, we got to take them down, dude. They're honestly a little bit deadlier than the floater bloater. Not as much health, but bro, they're like glass cannons. They can hit you for a solid little amount of damage. They can did not mean to do that. Uh, not really any secret enemies. We do have a few secret floors over here to pop into. Hello, governors. Oh, the toxic spewer. How you doing, my friend? Let's take down these fast riders. Let's go ahead and hit the spewer with that slow-mo. We did not manage to hit him. But we want to stay a little bit. Oh, there you go. You want to stay away from that fella. Because he is capable, that little mini boss he is, of actually doing that little spit. He regenerates health inside of that spit. I know this very well due to the amount of times I see that mother trucker in Bunker Bravo. So it's uh, definitely want to be careful with that lad. And all right, do we go to room up in here? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Hello, shotgun rain to the lot of ya. And Pistol Drizzle will finish up the job. That's the one-two punch of freaking my dreams and of the zombies nightmares. The one-two wombo combo. The two-piece soda, man. The two-piece in the soda. Three-piece in the soda. 
whatever it's called. That's it right there. You know, oh, ooh, let's go. Love to see that stuff. That's literally what it is, though. Just so perfect. The shotgun does the bulk of the damage, and the pistol is just there for the cleanup crew. We got a suspiciously long-looking hallway here. Hello, we got some toxic spinners, and what is this? We have a generator. Hello, Mr. Generator. What are you doing, kind sir? I am going to need to do something with that, apparently. It appears that I... Uh, dude, what? There's a, I need to put a generator in the sewer? <laughs> Okay, interesting. We'll see what that's all about. That's gonna give us the power we need to open up that door, but I'm kind of sketched out. Let's go. More reputation. Because there's like a tripwire on the other side of that thing. So let's go. What? What? You what, mate? I got too many of them at my base? What do you mean? Uh, uh, bruh. Really? Really? Are you serious right now, last day on Earth? That's ridiculous. That is... Wow. So because I have too many generators at my base, I cannot grab this one, and I am now stuck. And I cannot progress any further. Last day on Earth? This is absolutely ridiculous. I am literally missing out on some awesome loot, which will help us craft none other than the motorboat because I don't have an, I because I can't I I am at a loss for words. Wow. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I'm sorry last day on earth. Get that fixed because that's not right. I don't why is that happening? Why why would you even put that there? That's so pointless. It is 5 feet away from where it should be. Is this really necessary? I, I, I can't hear. All right. Well, I suppose we just got, kind of got screwed. That is awesome. I have the biggest smile on my face. Y'all saw if I had a face cam on right now, which I do have on during my streams, by the way, and it's collapsed and we can't even go back. Wow. So word of warning to y'all. If you have a lot of generators at home, uh, start moving them out. Because uh, you could be at risk of getting screwed over in the middle of a sewer run. But that is just... I can't even, man. That is so freaking dumb. All right, though. Onwards we go. Nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. No point in lurking on it. Why don't we go and take down this berserker, take our frustrations out, and at the very least, there's no generator locking us behind this military box. Let's see what we got. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Let's, let's go, dude! Wow! You love to see that! All right, that makes up for it. I don't even care. Unless there's gonna be another repeller up there. I don't even care. That is mwah, magnifico. Oh my God. That is magnificent. The propeller, baby. That is what we need. If y'all don't know, that is most likely to be the most major bottleneck. In order to craft the motorboat, we need to create two, count them, two boat engines. In order to create one boat engine, we require three propellers. Two boat engines, there's gonna be a total of six propellers. We are now one-sixth of the way there. Let's freaking go, dude! I am stoked, I'm so okay. I was only sad for like a little bit of time. Happiness has returned to my base. Let's freaking go. That is literally all that I gotta say on the topic. Let's freaking go. And speaking of let's freaking go, let's freaking go back up top side to the top side of the port and uh just kind of bask in the glory of that also we got some deliveries we got to get done so uh i reckon we should definitely go ahead and do that let's accept the high spirits and ladies and gentlemen let's get some things cooking shall we we are going to luckily i've already prepared a few things over here as you may or may not be able to tell let's get this stuff cooking a good look and bloop that into there and listen i'm willing to risk it for the biscuit i want to build this motorboat asap so if it means i gotta drop a little bit of coinage every time so be it i will do it so we can get absolutely as much stuff as possible upwards and onwards we go delivery terminal what do you got in store for me baby let's move along the way and we got some mushrooms Woo! you love to see it man uh, yeah, magnificent mushrooms baby mushrooms hello okie dokie good news everybody we are gonna go and i mean we got the box of basic materials to continue doing a few of those but we do also have i went ahead and grabbed some bolts and some duct tape which we should now be able to combine with the power of the empty toolbox and then this ladies and gentlemen will get us quite nah it's not the chest that i got utilized this will get us quite a lot of goodies because bip 
and bop. And uh, we got two wrenches over here. We will sacrifice these to go ahead and create this wonderful toolbox, which will then help us oh, with some additional deliveries. And also uh, is a little bit of a bummer, but also in, in the grand scheme of things, incredible news. If y'all haven't noticed, the update is out on Android. But as a result of this, because I was playing on my iPhone before, and then I moved over to be playing on my, uh, which we call on my PC with my emulator, which is why y'all are seeing my mouse over here. Uh, we have lost a little bit of progress, which is a bit of a bummer, but we should be able to actually get that back, which is going to be the good news. Y'all can see we only have 71% finished over there, but with a few good deliveries, we should be able to knock out. We should be able to get that back up a little bit, which means we'll be able to go and actually get and redo our first crane opening. So we'll see if maybe we're, we have, we'll have like better luck and get something better. Maybe we'll see if everyone's guaranteed the same stuff on the first try. Definitely some interesting scenarios. Let's just go ahead, definitely ensure things. We want to maximize the amount of reputation we are getting and apparently the amount of food that we're getting too. Okie dokie, I'll take that, man. I, I didn't want to complain about a little bit of om noms up in here. Uh, we were not damaged. Mwah. Bless up, you'll love to see it. Uh, upwards and onwards we go. Delivery terminal completed. Let's go and get a little bit of hunting prep done over here let's go and grab one of those boxes we have prepared and i love this little storage here it's so easy to just go ahead and build up some boxes and have them ready to go it seriously is so freaking nifty but uh, speaking of nifty things again make sure y'all do have twitch enabled see y'all at that stream today so happy and so excited to be giving things out for y'all to also get the chance to get things as well on top of the explicit giveaway we're doing manually also, the Twitch drops, which are an automatic thing integrated with Twitch. And then, of course, we also do do random bonus streams as well, in addition to our Friday 6 p.m. Eastern time streams. So make sure, make sure that y'all go ahead and hit us with that follow, too, so then you should be notified whenever we do uh, go live. And hopefully we got something good coming away. Okay, pickaxe. I mean, I'd rather just get more reputation points, if that's cool with you, game. Can I just get more reputation points? All right, let's, let's give me some more reputation points, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's all right. Let's get this building site done and get one final delivery. Plenty of points coming our way. Maybe we'll be able to hit level three, man. I mean, I'd, I'd definitely be game with that. We got a little bit of nails. Uh, let's look around the territory a little bit. Okay, we got a little bit of gas too. And since this is a, since this is a two skull delivery, that should be the two decisions we are forced to make. Other than that, smooth sailing, bada bing, bada boom. We do also have some Christmas deliveries we gotta knock out, but I gotta get some freaking Christmas packages first to, to go and have that come in order. But. Oh, my inventory is full. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, un momento, por favor. Let's chow down on some mushrooms, dog. Thank you so much. And level three is about to be ours. And then, honestly, that's going to be so huge for continuing to level up our reputation because the higher level we are also means we can actually get more reputation from these things. So, for example, at level three, which we're about to hit, we will receive the ability to put a second package inside of the deliveries. That is going to be very nice. And again, this delivery system is going to be huge because I believe we can get more crane keys via it. But speaking of crane keys, let's go and cash this puppy in and let's see if we're guaranteed the same stuff as the first time or if we might get something a little bit different. I don't know, but it's crane time, baby! Let's go and do this like the claw machine from the vending machine arcades. Not vending machine, uh, from the arcade vending machines for toys and stuff. And luckily, we ain't on that rigged cheap stuff, baby. We on the realness and we got one piping hot sunken box coming right up. We're going to be bringing this thing back on home to our acid box where we will then be able to cleanse it and see what awaits in store for us after sewer run number two seriously dudes like if, if something crazy happens though like if we get another propeller from this and we already hit two propellers like you have no idea how hype that would be because that it's looking like that's gonna be the major bottleneck either that or another thing ah dying of thirst that's not good that's not good that's not good or another thing that's probably gonna be necessary and might be a bit of a pain in the butt to get and ultimately we are gonna have to mess around with quite a little bit is going to come in the form of the fiberglass uh, workbench this is uh we might need to we're gonna need 20 fiberglass so we can actually craft fiberglass one by one we can get fiberglass from the sunken boxes uh but we can also craft it one by one by combining bauxite and glass we also need glass to actually build the darn freaking motorboat in the first place too so depending on how much glass we get and how much we're acquiring we might be able to use that to our advantage too i don't know but let's go and bring the sunken box to go and hopefully about to do like i mean depending on how often and this is something that i want to get to the bottom of too i i like we're only told about the one explicit crane key from the reputation system at level two 
but it, it makes sense that we'll get a few more sprinkled along in there uh, in random intervals. And the, the reason I say this is because as you all saw at certain levels, like three, five, seven, nine, I don't remember off the top of my head, but at certain levels, we actually unlock our, our prize for leveling up is unlocking additional slots for deliveries. Okay, cool. Uh, at other levels, we explicitly are told, oh, we're going to get a propeller from this level. And we, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I think level four is going to be a propeller actually, or six, one of the two. Uh, but then there's other, there's other levels in there sprinkled within that aren't taken into account either way. They don't have a prize associated with them explicitly, and they don't have a delivery upgrade explicitly. So I <laughs> I got a feeling that might be where we actually can get more crane keys. So time will tell with that. We'll see how that goes. That boom box is freaking bumping. Also, as y'all can see, uh, we got some freaking uh, turrets over here protecting our motorboat. That thing is incredible. And I ain't letting nobody touch it. All right, except Lexi. She's adorable. Ah, I'm a little bit bummed we didn't bring Lexi along for the ride today. But that's all right. Let's grab that sunken box. Dude, still the first propeller. Let's go. So that's just awesome confirmation that it is possible to get from down in the sewers. It is a bummer that we missed out on that one sewer room that potentially could have had another propeller. I mean, I don't know if it would have because it seems like it is very, very rare to get a propeller from such a thing, but still, it's definitely a little bit of a bummer. But so yeah, best looking to give away to, like I am saying, make sure that y'all hit that like button, subscribe, and hit and leave a comment uh, down below and stay tuned for the next episode of Last Day on Earth where the winner will be announced from the past uh, two videos. And uh, best luck in the stream giveaway as well. And I'm looking forward to having some fun, dude, and just kicking off the weekend, having a Merry J Jerry, Merry Jerry Christmas. I like that, a Merry Jerry Christmas. <laughs> And boop, toss that into there. Luckily, from the sewers, we literally get some of that. And we did get a little bit of acid. We do need to tap into our supply. But I, I love that that is a way that you can get acid, actually, is from the sewers now. That's going to be very, uh, very helpful. And I will go ahead and grab a partial stack of what I got. And, dude, it's going to be time for us to... Uh, we we, we, we got to start stashing uh, uh, these propellers and these motorboat parts. I don't know exactly what chest is going to be the home for them because my base is, again, surprisingly organized. You love to see it. Oh, hello. Speaking of things that you love to see, let's go in uh, just on the lickety split. No, no, no. Not that. Not that. Not that. It's just on the lickety split here. We're going to process those uh, planks as well. But it's time for us to unearth our second sunken box. Big money. No whammy. Big money. No whammy. Big money. No whammy. Let's see what we got in store. I can't grab that thing out, unfortunately, but sunken box. Show me what you got. Let's go. Fiberglass still coming our way. It looks like Unless I'm mistaken, this looks like exactly what we got the first time around. So it looks like the sunken boxes kind of guarantee the same loot depending on which sunken box you're on. So it looks like I might be mistaken, but I mean, just from a first glance, it looks very similar to what we got the first time we did the first box. But now with a little bit of that progress being reset and redoing kind of like the first box here on our emulator, it does appear that it's the same thing. I mean, that's very good though. We are getting some really good things out of that that we're gonna need anyway, like the freaking uh, fiberglass. Uh, we already have a pump over here ready to go. We're gonna be eating some of those. The glass is obviously a good pickup. Lots of great things. And this is enough glass actually to create three more fiberglass. So like, I mean, all in all, like do y'all see how much fiberglass we get? Like I, I think within like a week or two, or like, I don't know, that might be optimistic, but realistically speaking, I mean, the pumps might be a bit of a pain to get. Other than that, we need 40 glass. We're already almost halfway there. Uh, fiberglass, we got two. We could technically craft three more, so we could be a fourth of the way there if we want. That we already have. We have it. 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 So it's just a matter of getting the propeller. I think the propeller is going to be the big thing. So we definitely want to level up our reputation system. That's going to be a big way that we're going to be able to do that. Uh, and just kind of continue getting more sunken boxes and continue doing sewer runs and uh, taking things from there but uh with that said with that done we i gotta organize things a little bit because uh we gotta make room for the next sunken box whenever that does come we will see and we definitely want to make sure to be processing some of the stuff still gotta redo a little bit of the base design because we had to make room for this giant motorboat to exist uh so i'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to redo some base design somewhere uh, so I'm not going to be getting into any raids too early on until we do have that redesign. Maybe I'll knock that out a little bit later today. I don't know. Time will tell. But long story short, things are going very well. And that first propeller is seriously such a huge pickup for us. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. Only five more of those. One of which were guaranteed from the reputation system. So like all in all, if luck's on our side, we can seriously get that at a pretty solid pace. 
guys please continue crossing your fingers for me that we get this propeller asap because i want to build it for y'all and i want to continue checking out everything that season 13 has in store for the all of us but with that said with that done that's gonna be what it's start bringing an end to this episode of last day on earth thank you guys for holding fortune and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya